These are the best fruits to block the negative effects of sugar and carbs. Sounds crazy because fruit has sugar in it, right? Well, kind of, but fruits have various amounts of fiber and other polyphenols that affect digestion, so not all are created equal. And when you're looking at blocking the effects of sugar, in this particular case, we're looking at fruits that block the sugar transporters. So after today's video, I put a link down below for 25% off Seeds Daily Symbiotic. I'm a huge fan. It's the only probiotic that I personally use. And the interesting thing is, is they publish a lot of their own literature. So they publish their own clinical trials. And sometimes it doesn't work in their favor, but they publish it anyway because they are honest. And that's what I appreciate about them. But interestingly enough, it's the only probiotic that has this multi-stage delivery system where it has a capsule inside of a capsule. So when you think about probiotics, it's easy to think supplement company sham. But the reality is, is there is not a whole lot more in the world of supplements that is more vetted out than probiotic usage. The problem is most are destroyed in the gut. So that's what I like about Seed is they put their money where their mouth is with their technology, with their clinical trials, and also just with overall customer service and a quality products. So that link is down below for 25% off Seed's Daily Symbiotic. Now I've talked about fruits that have amylase effects where it blocks the digestion of fruits, but in this particular case, I'm talking about compounds that block sugar from getting on the shuttle bus out of the intestine and into the bloodstream. It's called S-GLUT1, which stands for, uh, it's a basically a sodium glucose transporter one. So simply put, if we block this bus, and we block the doorway to the bus, the glucose can't get on the bus and can't travel into the bloodstream. So by default, we lower our blood sugar and we reduce the negative effects of the sugar in the first place. So jumping right in, plums and apples have a high concentration of these compounds that block s 1. Now, when I'm looking at the difference between a plum and an apple, an apple is generally going to have a little bit of a higher fiber content with the skin. So you're also kind of having a, a positive effect there. But plums are going to pack a more powerful punch when it comes down to the compound itself. So plums are a great one when it comes down to reducing the amount of sugar that gets absorbed. That being said, we also need to look at something else. There are fruits that have something called tangerine in them. Tangerine is a potent blocker of this s 1. These fruits are gonna be things like grapefruits, oranges, and lemons. I have a problem with oranges, and that's the fact that the sugar content is so high, it's going to probably uh, kind of overshadow the positive effects of this glucose transporter blocker, right? So with this, I lean into grapefruits and I lean into lemons a lot, okay? Because they have the ability to block s 1 without adding a lot of sugar into the mix, right? So having a little bit of grapefruit with your breakfast in the morning could really attenuate that glucose response quite a bit and reduce the negative effects of sugar. Having lemon in your water is also going to attenuate the effects of the sugar. Not to mention, the lemon has an amylase inhibitor, which is going to slow down the breakdown of the carbs in the first place. So these non-sugary citrus fruits are very, very good for blocking the negative effects of sugar. But grapefruit and lemon do something else additionally they have the ability to block what is called GLUT5. Now, this was published in Phytotherapy Research. GLUT5 is the transporter for fructose. So not only are we blocking regular sugar, like glucose, but we're also blocking fructose with grapefruits and lemons. This is because they contain something called hesperidin, another flavonoid that's going to help prevent the absorption of this. So when you look at sort of the dynamics of how sugar affects our body, directly glucose is gonna impact like our blood sugar, right? Fructose doesn't necessarily impact our blood sugar, but fructose impacts our liver. And fructose impacts fatty acid oxidation, which means fructose can slow down our rate of fat oxidation, causing fat to accumulate in the muscle cell that makes us more insulin resistant. Now I know that's complicated, which is why I'm trying to just give the simple playbook. So do you have this like lemon or grapefruit before carbs, after carbs, with carbs? 
The best suggestion would be to have it directly with it whenever possible. So eating a grapefruit with maybe a little bit of stevia or a little bit of monk fruit or something on the top of it and put it under the broiler alongside your breakfast is a perfect strategy. Drinking lemon water with the juice of a full lemon if you can possibly do it, I know that's pretty pungent, that's gonna have a powerful effect as well. Now, if you choose to go the route with like the apples or the plums, do this in moderation and try to do it alongside higher fiber foods so you're not getting a glucose spike from the fruit in the first place. Now, if you want a little bit more direction with how to influence GLUT5 and how to reduce fructose uptake, well, you can also consume things like cherries, you can consume strawberries, and you can consume blackberries. Strawberries and blackberries, even though they're sweet and tasty, those are pretty low sugar. So when it comes to reducing the fructose content, those are gonna be the best. Which it sounds kind of weird, right? Why would you ever want to consume fruit to reduce fructose? Which is a valid thing. So I come right back to, again, the grapefruit and the lemon being the most practical. Now, if you ever want to have this in a fasted state, grapefruit's probably more likely to break a fast with a few more carbs, whereas lemon juice is going to be beneficial in a fasted state and have a net positive effect. So as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. I'll see you tomorrow.